So the Avengers number 7 tells the story of the prehistoric ghost rider who joined Odin in his war against the Celestials one million years ago. He was born into a small pack struggling to survive on the edge of the Big White. It would be a long time before he would have a name. Back then, there were no such things as names. They recognized each other by their faces or smells. Even as a child, he was already smarter than everyone he knew, which was his great secret and shame. Being different was frightening to his people. He never understood their fear until the stranger came. A stranger from across the big white. He wielded weapons they had never seen before. He became the pack's new leader, and every hunter in the cave roared in approval. But the kid was the only one smart enough to be afraid. He didn't know that there were others who could make the sounds, who could speak. There are a few scattered among the packs all across the land. They were born smarter. The stranger came from a pack that feared everything outside their cave. These different people are the world's true masters, and the rest help them to become what they are meant to be. When the kid asked how the stranger's pack died, he said that something stronger found them, something hungry. The stranger transformed into a Wendigo and killed all the kid's people, everyone he'd ever known. The Wendigo didn't kill the kid, though. He named him the Ghost and told him that if he wanted to know his name, then he should come and find him. And just like that, he was gone. The kid went out searching for the Wendigo, but he couldn't withstand the frost. He didn't find what he was looking for, but something found him. A white token snake approached him and said that he would help him. The snake knows what the kid is searching for, and he's the only one who can give it to him. Pain, punishment, and vengeance are the snake's specialities. The snake asked the kid to say his name. He knows the snake's name. It's on the tip of his tongue. Say the name and the deal is done. His skin started to burn when he said Mephisto, and he eventually turned into the Ghost Rider. Five years later, the Ghost Rider finally managed to find the Wendigo who slaughtered his people. The two fight in a fierce battle. A monster feeding on man flesh against a demon who feeds on souls. The mammoth joined the battle trying to finish the powerful Wendigo who stabbed the animal with its own tusk saying that by relying on animals the rider will not be strong enough. The Wendigo and the mammoth fell into the valley with the Wendigo saying that he will survive this. The book ends with Odin and Lady Phoenix approaching Ghost Rider, asking him to join them in order to save the world against the Celestials' invasion. The full battle has been uploaded on Comics Fighters channel. Check out the annotation in the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.